Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Please subscribe and turn on notification for daily Manchester United news updates. Manchester United are expected to embrace a new transfer approach with Ineos and Sir Jim Ratcliffe now on board at Old Trafford. The day of paying up for the likes of Rafael Varane and Casemiro may well be over. Rather than paying big money for experienced players, United will look to land the stars of the future and nurture them at Carrington. That is what Sir Jim Ratcliffe indicated just last week anyway, having been asked whether United will be looking to land Kylian Mbappe this summer. Ratcliffe told the Gerant Thomas Cycle Club that he would rather attempt to find the next Mbappe than commit to huge wages on the Paris Saint-Germain superstar. Finding anybody even remotely similar to Mbappe will not be easy, but Ratcliffe's comments indicate that United are ready to focus on young signings with big potential. Expect to see some top talents linked with United in the coming weeks and months, with Boca Juniors prospect Aaron Anselmino already thought to be a target. Another hot prospect is now being linked with a move to Old Trafford, and this one would cause some serious excitement. Calcio Mercato reported that United have now made a very important offer to sign AC Milan wonder kid Francesco Camarda. It's claimed that Camarda's agent Giuseppe Riso has a very cold relationship with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, with the former United striker taking on a key role in Milan's football operations. Camarda is yet to sign his first professional contract with Milan, and it now looks like United are trying to lure him to Old Trafford. The problem is that Camarda only recently turned 16, and, under post-Brexit rules, he wouldn't be able to join United until turning 18. That would leave Camarda in limbo for a couple of years, and Ineos may need to get creative with a move for the Italian teenager. Maybe signing Camarda at Nice or Lausanne Sport, the other Ineos clubs, before moving him on to United could be a sneaky way around the rules. Camarda has already played twice for Milan's first team, and the Italian media claim that he scored over 400 goals for Milan at youth level. Now being backed as a superstar of the future, Camarda could quit Milan and join United, even if it would take until 2026 for him to actually arrive. What has been said about Camarda? He has talent. He has to enjoy himself, but know that he has to work harder than the others to get to the top. He's a boy with a head on his shoulders, but we'll follow him along the way. AC Milan, right back, Davide Calabria. Talent has no age. He is very young, but from a character point of view, he is already mature. He is happy to be with us and is ready if we need him. AC Milan boss, Stefano Pioli. He scored loads of goals even with the older players. There was no way to stop him. He already had a powerful physique. He played forward or as a winger and was clearly superior to everyone. He was a hurricane, a pain for all his opponents. Camarda's former youth coach, Piero Colangelo. What I saw is crazy because he's 15. When I was there, I don't know where I was. He has good movements inside the area. AC Milan defender Fikayo Tomori. Again and again. Manchester United are confident they will be allowed to compete in European competition next turn, despite a potential conflict of interest over Ineos's multi-club model. League One side Nice, who are owned by Ineos, are also poised to qualify for Europe ahead of next season. UEFA have attempted to crack down on multi-club ownership and their latest rules stipulate that if two clubs from the same ownership group qualify for the same competition, only one will be allowed to enter. According to a report by Hick, Man United are planning for Eric Ten Hag to remain manager next season. Ten Hag's future has been a hot topic ever since the Ineos group sealed a minority stake in United last month. As a result of clinching 27.7% of the club's shares, Ineos now oversee all football-related matters at the club. Ten Hag is understood to be in a position of uncertainty, and England manager Gareth Southgate has been heavily linked with replacing him. However, it has now been reported elsewhere that Ten Hag is poised to stay in charge. Meanwhile, Man United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe believes Crystal Palace ace Michael Olise would be worth every penny, amid ongoing reports linking the Reds with his signature. That is according to a report by Team Talk, which claims United remain keen on signing him ahead of the summer transfer window. 
It is claimed that the versatile attacker has a price tag of $60 million. And he is not the only one. According to a report by CalcioMercato.it, United have intensified contacts with Juventus to try and sign defender Gleison Bremer ahead of this forthcoming summer's transfer window. The Brazilian international, 27, has constantly been linked with a move to Old Trafford in recent weeks, amid the club's bid to strengthen at centre-back ahead of next season. Bremer has made 29 appearances for Juventus this season so far, chipping in with two goals, again and again. Manchester United's teenage sensation Kabi Maynou has revealed his nickname in the Red Devils dressing room, and it's a reference to his famous family member. The 18-year-old has been one of the shining lights for the Red Devils this term in what has been an otherwise underwhelming campaign and, as a result, has earned his first senior England call-up. It was while away on international duty that Mainu explained what some of his United colleagues call him back in Manchester. Speaking in his England's First Impressions interview, Mainu shed light on the fact that his teammates at club level affectionately call him Love Island as a nod to the fact his brother Jordan Mainu Hames featured on the reality show back in 2019. My brother was on it, the United midfield ace explained. I'm close to him. You know what? Going back to another question, my nickname. The kit man at United always called me Love Island. He's been doing so since I was like 16. Keen to point out that Mainu is not one to turn on the charm like Love Island viewers saw his brother do, the Red Devils star added, No, it's not even that. They're just jokers. May News England call-up marks the next step in what has been a meteoric rise to first-team football for both club and country. Keen to reach the next level, the 18-year-old admitted he has his sights set on being named in Gareth Southgate's squad for Euro 2024 in the summer. I think that's the end goal for the season, to get into that squad. Mainu revealed, after his first training session with England at senior level. Obviously, I've got to focus on club football in the meantime, and hopefully that'll figure itself out. It's been a pretty mad couple of days. Sunday obviously was a great game and a great win. Then to get called up to the under-21s, obviously I was excited to come. Then getting down here and realizing that I was with the first team was amazing. I was shocked and happy, and it's been a whirlwind of emotions. Meanwhile, Wembley awaits Man UTD vs Coventry and Man City vs Chelsea. FA Cup semi-final kickoff times moved after police request. The FA Cup semi-final kickoff times have been revealed following a Metropolitan Police intervention. Manchester United's clash with Coventry has been brought forward to 3.30 p.m. on Sunday, April Shea Lacey. That's because the Metropolitan Police deemed it to be a high-risk fixture. The FA initially requested a 4 p.m. kickoff, but it was brought forward by 30 minutes after the police expressed public order concerns. Meanwhile, Manchester City's match against Chelsea will start at 5.15 p.m. on Saturday, April 20th.